Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a VPN tunnel between Microsoft Azure and also Unify Secure Gateway. So in my house, I have all Ubiquiti equipment currently placed uh, where I have a Unify Secure Gateway and also I have Unify switches and uh, Wi-Fi access points and etc. Uh, in this video, uh, what I'm going to be showing you is how I made my VPN tunnels easier using my Unify Secure Gateway between um, uh, with my Azure um, networks in East US. Um, so previously, before I had my Unify kit, um, I had to r run a RAS server within my um, home environment and then had to terminate my VPN between Azure and the RAS server and then had to do complex routing to get it working. But in this case, I'm terminating my VPN tunnel at the gateway where my internet connection is and um, routing is so much easy because it goes through the default gateway and then uh, router defines um, the unified secure gateway uh, decides which is it going to go to the internet or to the vpn tunnel um, so the setup is far much far more easier so i'm going to be showing you and spreading the love so that you guys can also um, experiment some of this stuff and then get get that uh, vpn tunnel established and then it's it's much more of a cleaner network when you have it that way so i have currently already established this uh, which is my um, azure east us network so i've already connected that to my unify secure gateway and proven that it's all working fine so what i'm going to be doing in this video is uh, create another a network uh, or another region in azure so which is azure west us region and then connect that to my network and then i'm going to be showing you how easy it is to uh, create a new network and then connect it and expand it expand my network um, into another region so <clears throat> without talking much i think let's get into action before we do that let's let's have a look so i have currently got uh, my uh, existing connection up um, so currently I've got my East US stuff already provisioned. So I've got a network gateway and the connection and, and the local net, uh, network gateway. So if you connect, if I look at the connection, it says, it says that it's connected and it has some file um, data in and data out, which means the connection is up and, and working. So what, I, what we're going to be doing is exactly create a replica in another region and then um, create or connect that to the same secure gateway as another VPN tunnel and then you will check some connectivity. So at the moment I have con checked connectivity between the East US and it's all working fine. So I'm located in Australia, Perth and I'm, when I'm hitting uh, Azure East US which is um, uh, which is in um, East US is in the eastern side of US. I'm not too sure about the cap uh, the city, but uh, when I hit that, I'm hit uh, seeing uh, like 250 milliseconds um, uh, del uh, latency. So let's create one for um, West US, which is California, I'm sure. And uh, let's do that and then have a look at how the um, how the latency looks like and etc. Okay, um, so without talking much let's go into the vs code so i'm going to be using today powershell for creating the west us region and um so what i will be doing is um so i'll be, I'll be defining some variables uh, to start with so i've got my subscription all um, up and running connected um so uh, what i'm going to be doing is defining some variables to start with and then i will first create the resource group and and then i'll create the new vnet which is in going to be in west us and once that's created um once that's created then it's going to be actually so the, uh, there's going to be a vnet created in west us and uh, we'll have a look at that uh, once that's done i'm going to be going ahead and provisioning the gateway so the provision in the gateway is going to take some time so i'm going to leave it running for a bit and uh, at the meantime what i want to show you is we'll do a quick refresh on the portal side of things and then I'll, i'm going to be showing you how that's looking like um, in the subscription so you can see currently you should be able to see so there it is so it's now appearing as the west us production network 2 
I can see the virtual networks being created. So you'll be seeing like uh, it's currently creating the gateway, I, uh, gateway and the public IPs and etc. Um, it's gonna take like 15 minutes uh, to provision the gateway. Um, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna stop the video for a while and then uh, come back to it once that's provisioned. Okay, um, the gateway has been provisioned successfully now, as you can see. So let's go and check it in the portal. So if I go to the portal, uh, you will see that um, there are three resources. So one is the virtual network, the gateway and the gateway public IP. So these have been created successfully in West US region. So that's all good. So let's go ahead and create the uh, let's go ahead and create the the local network gateway. So local network gateway represent your other side of the VPN, which is your home network. So I have given it a name called uh, TreeB, and then I have given my local network uh, prefixes as well. And then you need to get your public IP of your home uh, internet. And then I ha I have a static IP, and you need a static IP. Otherwise, you need to use a service like Dyn DNS or something for getting that uh, DNS name. Um, a static um, anyway uh, in my case I have a public um, static DNS uh, static um, IP address so that's that's all good so I'll have put my public IP in here and um, and then we'll be creating the connection um, uh, I'll be give, I'll be giving a connection name and I'll be creating the a local network gateway first before you create the connection so I'm going ahead and defining these variables I have already defined my public IP as well um, so I'll be going ahead and creating this local network gateway. Once that's created, so that represents your home network, and then you'll be creating um, you'll be creating the the net uh, the gateway connection, which which represents the connection between your home network and the um, and your um, IPsec tunnel. Um, so uh, yeah, basically. You will be so. Uh, you'll be now creating the connection. Now this uh, gateway has been successfully uh, completed. Um, let's go ahead and create the connection as well. Uh, in this connection, you'll be giving a pre-shared key, and you will need this pre-shared key um, in in order to configure your uh, unified secure gateway side of configuration. So please uh, note that key that whatever you are punching in there. Once that's created, we need to go ahead and um, have a look at, uh, we can have a look at what's configured in here. So you'll be seeing two new resources. You'll be seeing um, the, the local network gateway and soon you'll be able to uh, see the connection as well. So that's done. And what you will now have, uh, have to do is log into Unify and then uh, add the site-to-site -site VPN so that you will see this connection coming up. At the moment, it's the status is unknown and there's nothing being transmitted over the connection. So um, I'll, I'll, let you, I'll show you how the Unify connection piece is configured and then I'll, I'll let you know. Um, and we will come back to this and have a look at the connection status afterwards. Okay, now I'm logged into my um, my Unify controller, um, and you will see all my site configuration and everything. And what I need to do is add another network in here. So I have currently added a network called Azure EUS, which is which represents the East US. So we'll add another network to say Azure West US in this case. West US. So it will be a site-to-site -site VPN, and um, it will be manual IPsec and you will have to add uh, whatever the IP range that you gave there. So I gave it uh, 52.0 slash 22 uh, subnet uh, into my West US side of things and my peering IP. Uh, the peering IP is the IP address that I um, that I've got in here. So the word so the peering IP address is the public IP address that's uh, that's available on the Azure side. So that will be the gateway IP address basically. So if you create, if you look into this gateway, you will have a public IP address, which is this one here. 
So you will add that uh, IP address as the peer IP address and the local WAN IP address is which is the is the local public IP address. So which is what uh, which is your public IP address um, um, at your house. So I'm gonna be punching that as well. Um, find that for you and then. And the pre-shared key. So the pre-shared key that we shared, the same pre-shared key that we did uh, to create the other side of the of the tunnel, and then that's that. And the the IPsec profile will be assured dynamic routing. So we selected dynamic routing on the gateway side of things, and you create that, and you click save. So once that's done, uh, you will soon see the other side of the connection is coming up. Um, it will take some time to be honest. Um, it won't be instantaneous. Um, so you will see that's coming up. Uh, currently it says it's connecting, which, which is a good sign. Um, and you will see it's turning to connected uh, pretty soon. So I'll, uh, I'll come back uh, once it's started connecting. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be creating a test VM in this in that network, and um, I'll come I'll start again the video for to to do some testing. Okay, now the connection status has changed to connected, as you can see, and uh, now I have created a test VM as well. And what we will do now is we start some connection testing. Okay, let's do some connection tests. So let's open up a command prompt and the server that the test server that I have created, I know the IP address, I know the IP address for that one. So 53.4, let's do some connectivity tests. As you can see, there's average of 210 millisecond and I can ping the server as well. So what does that mean? That means we have established the VPN tunnel successfully. And uh, let's do RDP to the server and um, let's have a look at the connection. So as you can see, I can even RDP to the server here. So which means the connection, this VPN tunnel is established. So that's that's the server and um, it is it's pretty good. The connection is pretty good. So we can have a look at copying a file or something from. Uh, so what we can do is we can uh, start copying a file or something um, into this. So we'll create a temporary folder uh, and then copy. I have a Power BI desktop uh, download uh, the installer. Let's have a look at how, how fast it gets and etc. So. Um, it's not the I mean it's it's not gonna be the best to copy over RDP but it's it's going well so this is a 200 uh, megabits file so a megabytes file actually is going yeah it's looking at around four minutes which is not bad all right uh, hope you enjoyed this video and hope you um, you learned something out of it and thanks for watching